Hi kids, welcome to Styles for Rumble Harmony Remix Guide thing. Today we're gonna be doing lightning. I've got my lightning strikes here. I've got a few different styles and I just talk about the shapes of lightning and a little bit about the mechanics, adding some of the compositing that makes it look cool and glowy and stuff. First, I wanna thank everybody who's been checking in and watching my videos. We're almost at 10,000 views. I need like 500 more views to hit 10,000. So I've just been watching my analytics all day and night, like watching the, the ticks roll in. I'm super excited. Thanks for stopping by and sharing and all the things that you guys have been doing to get this channel started. I'm really just so excited about how quickly it's taken off in just a few months time. I've got a couple things coming up. I've got an interview with a friend of mine who's a former director of television shows and now he's moved on. He's making his own independent games. So if you have any questions for someone who works in the game industry as an artist who's worked as a director, please uh, leave your questions down below for him because I want to have good questions to ask him when I get a chance to sit down with them. Hopefully within the next month, it's just about syncing up our schedules. I've also got some other stuff on the back burner, which I will announce once they are underway. But I just want to say a little thanks to you guys for watching and for getting me so close to having a real grown up YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm really excited. So let's do some lightning. Let me grab my referin. Doop. The thing I find tricky about lightning is trying to find how far you want to go into a cartoony realm. Because if we actually click on cartoon here, I mean, you can get pretty stylized with lightning. You get these like, he's so happy. <laughs> So you can get these super stylized flash style lightning bolts and then just regular lightning. You got all sorts of colors and stuff that you can get into. There's sheet lightning and there's these more like lightning strikes, which I think is more what was asked about. Face lightning? Yeah! Face lightning, tornado, volcano lightning. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, but the main thing about lightning is just getting a good shape. Lightning's really fast if you're even if you're doing this super streaky lightning, something like this. So you want something super cartoony. Maybe you'll start it like this. So I can do something like this where it starts off sort of smaller. Hits the ground. You could do some little strikes if you want. And then you want to dissipate. So it could, like three drawings might be enough depending on how cartoony you're going. Um, what you actually want it to look like. But I find if you get too tight on lightning, you can have these look more like little lightning spoof. I find you don't want to get too tight on lightning because it is such a fast motion that the real nuance of these shapes is not as crucial as something like a, a liquid. Liquid I feel like needs to be the tightest. So here we have something that's super cartoony. Just Next, we can look at something a little bit more realistic. So this is when your reference would come in. Lightning does have a lot of different reasonable shapes that you could use. Because, I mean, this, you've got lots of different forks coming down. This, you've got one main fork with some little branches. Um, but you can, it, it does kind of emulate the same type of structure as a tree branch does. So it has a main vein of electricity or maybe two if you have some of these like super big branched ones so here we have three strikes but they're all coming down from here and branching off and then hitting the ground and most of these streaks are heading towards the ground as well some of these are, are kind of forking off uh to the side but for the most part everything is headed towards the ground because that's what lightning wants to do it wants to ground itself so here we've got a couple little stragglers that are going from cloud to cloud but most of them are headed straight towards the ground here you've got a few branching back up to the cloud but there's not many streaks that are just going in a completely random way so here, some of them are bouncing across the clouds. This one's going back towards the clouds. These ones are coming down here. So l electricity all wants, always wants to create a circuit. It wants to finish. It's, it wants to hit the ground. It wants to form a loop. So it's going back up in here. So those, those are kind of the general rules about getting your shapes. So you can start with a pretty loose guy like this and give him some smaller branches. I don't get super tight on uh, keeping these connected. Like that little thing, that little pop is, is fine. I mean, you can go back over it. And I just like to start really big and then get a smaller brush and branch off of these smaller ones. And again, you can throw some, you can throw a bright spot down here if you want to. It's not totally necessary, but if it looks cool and go for it. You might want to put in one drawing before it actually strikes. And I don't know how well you can see my purple background here, but you don't want to, uh, but you don't want to follow the exact same trajectory. 
it you want it to be kind of in the ballpark but you can get pretty loose about it maybe i'll have it only come down this far but i wouldn't put in more than one or two drawings at this stage because lightning is so incredibly fast if you watch some of the time lapses of lightning it's really flashy so you might see uh six or eight frames of flashy lightning but those those cameras doing the slow motion some of those are, are slowing down to like thousands of frames per second not 24. so two frames here and then maybe you could have a bright one so here i'll just make a fatter version of this i'm getting a bit too tight here what do you belong to all right so we could have a bright one and then kind of ballparking these guys it's just like really shoddy cleanup is my goal here uh, i want my branches to kind of stay in the same realm so that they don't look like total gibberish but it can be really boily when you do lightning. Maybe this guy wants to hit the ground too. And then it would dissipate. Make sure you draw it on the right layer. <laughs> do another thin version along the same lines. And I just have these things break up a little bit. They just lose their slitty. Uh, maybe keep heading in the same direction. All right, so let's play this and see how it looks. That looks all right to me. The cartoony one you could put on twos, maybe have it a little bit slower so it reads more as a lightning. And now this is where, I mean, it looks okay, but this is where you can take it and then start modifying it to look super cool. There's two ways you can go about it, making this look super glowy. One is just to add a blur behind your color. Let me zoom into my node view so you can see how I'm setting it up. Boop, boop. All right, so I've got the lightning plugged in. This is the cartoony one. And then the blur is plugged in behind and I'm just gonna ramp that up. By doing that, you get an instant cheapy glow. You can do the same thing over here. This one, because it's narrower, I don't want it to blur as much. And you can plug it in a few times if you wanna brighten it. You can see as you plug it in more, it's getting more blurry. I think I ramped this one up too high. Another way is to use an actual glow module. So we can slap the glow on there. So you've got your blur type. Radial is still the one you're going to want for this sort of thing because you don't want it to just blur in a direction, look like a motion blur. If you don't use the source color, you have to set a color down here. So initially it sets a, a black. And then, I mean, you could, if you wanted purple lightning or something, you could come in and play with that. If you move more towards the white, you can see that you're going to get more of a purple tinge. And if you move more down towards this way, the, the whole thing is going to start turning purple. But cool purple blue lightning, that, that's kind of a fun effect if you don't want to just use a white one. So using the source color is going to be a white blur. And then using this color is going to be a cool blue blur. I think I like the blue blur better. And this one here, let's try a purple one. So the downside to using a glow directly like this is I'm losing some of the sharpness that I put in here. And for this guy, it doesn't really make a difference. But here, if I plug this guy on top, you can see that these tiny branches are getting a little bit more detail. And that's something that it's really a style thing, like whether you want it to look really sharp and those tiny bits, you could also uh, just use a blur there to get like take some of the edge off these ones while still maintaining some of the details rather than having the glow completely blow it out and then down here the intensity of the glow you can slap that up real high but that's gonna really blow it out like bloom it so i don't feel like it's good for lightning it's really good for stuff like camera flashes those can blow out really and, and still look really good or something you actually want like a, an explosion then you can have a big bloom on that and it's not going to take away from the details that lightning does better with you can also go really stylized with your lightning you can go somewhere in between those where you have your lightning come down like this and I'm really anal retentive, so I'd probably go in and really make sure each of these spikes are really sharp. Leap. If I was doing this type of stylized lightning. And you can go as many rows down in detail as you want to get smaller and smaller little branches coming off of it. So you can definitely have fun with the style of your lightning if it suits whatever you're doing. So, you, I mean, there, there's, it's not just this or this. There's definitely more places you could take it. He's got to be a little bit creative about it. And it would follow the same sort of system where you have one or two frames where things are really bright and for serious lightning, and then you'd have it dissipate. So you maybe do one pre-strike, a couple of bright ones like this, and you can do dissipate. 
You can also think about if this is happening fairly close to an object or something, it might actually ex make the object explode, or you could have dirt and debris come up here wherever it strikes, not just like some little zaps. There's definitely a lot of additional things you could do to make this look super cool if it's really close up. If it's something like in a window or far away, then I wouldn't spend a lot of time on adding those things. Throw this one into our same kit here and see how it looks with the effects turned on. Well, that's kind of cool. Like I said, I like to go in and get really sharp points on this. I just don't want to spend all day making you guys watch me do all the little nitpicky details. But I like some real crisp points on, on lightning. It looks a little bit more scary. <laughs> it's a quick and dirty little effect, especially if you're doing like a dark and stormy night, it can add a lot for not a lot of work. Pew. So if you are feeling like you want this to continue a little bit more, you can double up some of these strike frames. So there it looks like bzzz. that's four instead of two, four strikes. So one, two, one, two of the same kind. And then the dissipate in the center one. This guy has four strike frames now. This guy has two strike frames. You can see it is very quick. And this guy has two strike frames, but it's on twos. So it's a little bit slower in general, but because it's so super stylized, it doesn't feel weird. Um, I feel like these guys, especially this really branchy one would look really strange on twos, but you can get away with the double strike. Um, and this one, because it's somewhere in the middle, you kind of got a little bit more leverage either way. Let's try it with the double strike just for fun. Actually, these all strike about the same spot. Let's throw in full frame white, full frame black, full frame white. I feel like, I mean, it gets so much punch, so cheap. Um, some great explosions have like a, just a white frame, maybe with just a little bit of uh, swooshy. But you can see by adding in that frame of white, you can't see it exactly, but it really gives a lot of punch to these lightning strikes. I like the double impact on these. I think having four frames is, four frames feels good. Four frame impact. All right, so hopefully that gives you some ideas for your own lightning strikes. Do some volcano lightning. That's that's a little bit too tempting. I almost forgot the outro. <laughs> like, share, subscribe, all those things internet people ask you to do. And I will see you in the next video.